all my records came in and I have been enjoying my records to the point where I'm like, I have to go out of the house today. <laughs> I want to share with you some records I got at Record Store Day. It was really exciting. I had a lot of fun. I had to order a few off eBay. Okay, here's the first one. I got this in, Beach House. I had to order it off eBay and the price wasn't too bad. It was about how much it would be at the record store. They had a few extra songs that didn't really line up with their last release, Once Melody. And I was just curious, like, what is that gonna sound like? Cause I like the Beach House sound. At first, when I played it on the record player, I didn't know what speed this was supposed to be at. <laughs> and it kind of confused me and I finally figured out there's about five songs on here, but they don't disappoint because they feel long enough. The whole album feels like a full album them. No wonder why they released it. So I'm so happy to get this one. If you're a big Beach House fan, you're gonna like this. Next record I got, this was The Cure and I was able to get it at the record store. I came home right away and listened to it and this was on the turntable for a few days. This is a live version of some of their favorite songs and I like that it was mastered by Robert Smith, just to know like the artist had his touch in it. It doesn't sound too much like a live recording where the crowd's annoying. There's just the right amount of crowd cheering. The second LP is actually enjoyable too. Usually, you know, you have the first LP and all the good songs are on that one. And then the second one's kind of like, um, oh, whatever, but they equally weigh in goodness. <laughs> the next record I got, this is the Cranberries, and I really wanted this one. If you saw my last video, I wasn't able to get it on Record Store Day, but one of you guys sent me a link and said, hey, this record store in San Diego, they're selling them and they're shipping them out. And so I ordered mine, and when it came in, I was so excited because I love the Cranberries, and I'm kind of like on this new discovery with the Cranberries where I have like their best of, and I have their album Linger, but I kind of just forgot about the whole other discography and they're all good. All their albums are good. Most of the Cranberry albums that I do have are on CD. So it was nice to get it on vinyl and something about like putting the record on it just very, I get to go back in time, listen to some songs that are new to me, but kind of have that old feel to it, very nostalgic. And right away I fell in love with it. I fell in love with every song and the whole album and the whole storyline of the whole, like the journey that the album takes you on. So I'm just so glad that I got my Record Store Day copy. And yeah, this did not disappoint. So on Record Store Day, I did pick up a few extra albums. I'm gonna share those with you. I didn't share it on that video. This is an exclusive. Okay, so one of you guys shared this Surfer album. I think last year I seen it in one of your videos and I'm like, that's just a perfect summer album. Very fun, very, you know, kind of has that like old school James Bond feel to it. And yeah, I thought this would be great for summer. The next album I picked up was Mac DeMarco. I know I'm so typical. I love my indie rock, especially that like Northern um, Portland type of rock. I'm not quite sure where he's from, but he has that Portland vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of the era that I, you know, in my twenties. And so I finally got it. I've always seen this one and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Finally, I got it. This is 2014 and this is just the peak of creativity, making music in your garage. Hey, anything can happen. Very hopeful days for the millennial <laughs> and just making things with your hands, um, film photography. I love that sort of thing. So. This is definitely an album from my generation and so I had to get it in the collection. The next album was This Will Destroy You. Now, this has been one of my favorite bands ever and one of you guys messaged me and said like, hey, they're releasing two LPs on vinyl. I'm like, how do you know I like them? <laughs> Am I that obvious? So I had to order it. It was a, a good enough price where I'm like, yeah, I think I'll get it. This is like, an album I just wake up to, a slow waking up to drinking my French press coffee that I'm so into right now. <laughs> and you know, you just really gotta find the beautiful things in life and enjoy it. So hey, records and coffee, oh, that's a good, that's a good YouTube channel, <laughs> records and coffee. Mm. Those are my Record Store Day albums that I picked up and also some bonuses. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know down in the comments some Record Store Day releases that you're like, you have to listen to this album or that you highly encourage me to check out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for those who are new to my channel and who subscribe. I look forward to getting to know you. If you have a YouTube channel on your vinyl collection, let me know 
who you are. Say hello. I'll be sure to check out your channel. I'm always interested to hear one. What are you listening to? All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.